This is a review video on Thunderbolt Magnum Solar 7 Watt 18 Volt DC Solar Panel Kit. Uh, here's what it comes with the uh, auto lighter adapter, DC battery adapter, and USB adapter. Uh, paid $40.50. I'm sure the price vary as at Harbor Freight. Uh, amorphous silicone solar cell type 13. 0.4 inches by 13.4 inches and it's uh, 0.66 inches thick uh, you have to have it in as much sunlight as possible for it to charge a phone or anything else of course um, this is the solar charger itself I got the Cable hooked up to the phone charger. The light will turn red here. It's in the dark. It'll turn blue on the machine, or I mean the solar panel. Uh, and then it'll turn red. This little light here lights up red. And uh, when it's putting out enough charge to charge a phone. Uh, I have no way to show that it's charging, but it did go up after about an hour and 30 minutes, it went up like a 15% on my phone. So it does work, it just takes a while. Maybe it's about as good as plugging into a wall charger. Uh, it comes with uh, the box, of course, the solar panel, the cable, the USB adapter, there's plugs that are, I think they call them J plugs. It comes with the uh, alligator clips and one. And the uh, cigarette lighter one. I think the cigarette lighter one will charge a battery through the cigarette lighter. I haven't really tested it. A bunch of loads. And uh, it comes with some mounting kit. You, you want to mount it to a piece of wood or roof on some. Uh, and something else, a wall or some. Uh, and the plug-ins they just look like this that plug in the different adapters like that cigarette layer one there's the plug in uh here's the instruction booklet it comes with uh, i wasn't sure if it was working that great yesterday it didn't seem to be but i didn't have as good a sunlight today I, I tried it for at least the last hour and a half to a half hour and it's um I've tried it like over an hour and a half and uh, charged my phone over 10%, maybe like 15%. Went from 52% to like 70, almost 75% an hour and a half. Uh, there's no way I could show you the charge, I guess, while I'm recording. I was going to try you with the mirror, but uh, back of the phone, but I only got one camera, it's the phone. Um... Instruction booklet just says how to use adapters mostly and what not to do. Uh, oh, yeah, on the uh, charger itself has a stand on it. And here's a little info on the back, too. Thunderbolt Magnum Solar and part number. Uh, says to wear gloves. Do not wire multiple panels in series. Keep out of reach children. Read manual before set and use. And here's the little stand that pops out there. And it's got a stand that can be used to stand it up. Uh, if it's in full sunlight, it says to use like 10% charge. I'm, I had it like this earlier on the roof rack of my truck, and uh, it seemed to be working. I was thinking I'm going to take it back if I can't get it to charge the phone today, but it's working. It charged my phone like 15% in like an hour and a half. Um, if it's not charging your vehicle battery uh, at all, like after a day or so, and you, and you still... I haven't got a good charge on your battery. It's probably your battery's no good and not holding a charge if it won't charge up after a day or two. 
I don't really try on my truck battery because I bought it three months ago, so I really don't need it. I just needed something to plug my phone into while I'm camping so that I'm not draining the battery, charging my phone up. So it's working for, I'm using it for that mainly right now. So I don't drain my new battery and mess it up. Uh, that's it for this review.